is Calliope, and I'm going to be your audiologist today. How are you doing today? Okay. I hope by the time you leave this hearing examination, you feel even just the littlest bit better. Okay? Let's see. Would you mind if I just grabbed your name and date of birth? Very good. And is that your preferred name? And how do you like to be addressed? Perfect. Thank you. In just a minute, I'll have a rather extensive questionnaire that we'll be going through together so that we can pinpoint your areas of concern. We can take that into account with our test results later on. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about what I do. So. I'm an audiologist. My job is to detect if you have any hearing loss, and if so, to ascertain what kind of hearing loss you have. There are three main types of hearing loss. We have sensory neural, we have conductive, and we have mixed. So a sensory neural. This means that there is something wrong with either the structure of the ear or the nerves that control hearing. So this is often a permanent hearing loss. And we often treat this with a hearing aid. This can happen at any point, but usually tends to be as you get older. The second type, conductive, means that there is something blocking the transmission of sound. So oftentimes this means that it is an ear infection or fluid in the ears or something like that. Conductive hearing loss is often easily treatable and can clear up as well. And our third type, mixed, is a mixture of sensory neural and conductive. So my job is to see if you have hearing loss, and if so, what kind. So I'll be doing a multitude of tests, ranging from using a tuning fork to putting the headphones over your ears, and we'll do the hearing test that way. And at the end, we'll go over and see what your results are, and based on those results, what your options are. Okay? You have any questions for me so far? Wonderful. So, I'd like to go through a questionnaire with you. This is just to give me a bit of an idea of what might be going on. And then we have a record as well, okay? First, are you currently in any pain or have any illness at all? Doesn't have to be localized to the ears, so anywhere in your body. Okay. Are you experiencing any sort of ear pain? And if so, what side? Okay. And are you experiencing any itching, irritation, feeling of fullness, or any other symptom in either ear? And if so, which side and what symptom? Perfect. And 
do you believe you have any hearing loss? Okay. Are you experiencing or have you experienced lately any ringing in the ears at all? Do you or have you worked or lived in an environment with loud sounds? For example, like a construction area. Do you attend concerts? Okay. Do you work with loud equipment at all? Whether for your job or at home. Okay. Do people around you tell you that you talk loudly? Okay. Do you often have to ask people to repeat what they've said? Mm -hmm. Do you find it difficult to understand what people say? and maybe especially on the phone? Okay. Is it hard to hear a conversation, especially with background noise? Do you find it more hard to hear women's or children's voices? Okay. Do you find it more difficult to hear lower voices? Okay. Have you been told you watch TV too loudly or do you need subtitles when you watch TV? Last question. Have you had a history of ear infections or injuries at all? Very good. Excellent. So that's it for our questionnaire. I know it was quite a lot, but this gives me a much better look into your medical history. Now, I'm just going to be taking a look at your ears. So I'll be using an otoscope. And a little speculum here. And we're just going to put this together. There we go. And pop the speculum on. Just twists on. There we are. Now, for this portion, I will need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? Excellent. Thank you. So what I'm going to be doing is I will be pulling the ear up and back to straighten out the ear canal. I'm going to just insert my otoscope into the ear canal and I'm going to take a look around, okay? Alright, so I'm just going to pop on my light. There we go. Just like that. And I'll start on this ear. I'm just going to pull up and back. And then gently, gently, gently insert the otoscope into the ear canal. Okay, so if there seems to be any blockage in the ear. Okay. 
the ear canal there you go just put that back and now I'm going to do that for the other side okay just going to pull the ear up and back and insert the otoscope into the ear canal now it looks like your ear canal is fairly clear which is good and your tympanic membrane doesn't look to have any signs examination is going to start with the Weber and Rene tests. The Weber and Rene tests involve a tuning fork. I'm going to be striking the tuning fork and putting it right on your forehead. And I'm going to ask you whether you hear the sound more on the left side, the right side, or right in the middle. And then with our other test, I'll strike the tuning fork and I'll just pop it right behind your ear on the bone, right here, the mastoid tip. And I'll ask when you stop hearing the noise. Afterwards, I'll bring it right in front of your ear and ask you when you stop hearing it right in front of the ear. Okay? All right, so just going to have you sit quietly, sit still. Do you hear the sound more on one side or the other or right in the middle? Okay. One side, the other, or the middle? One side, the other, or the middle. Okay. You hear this? When does it stop? You hear this? When does it stop? There. You hear this? When does it stop? You hear this? When's it... There. This? When's it stop? This? When's it stop? Good. Hear this? When's it stop? This? When's it stop? Good. Very good. Okay. So now here's the more fun part. This is where I'm going to be putting the headphones on you. Okay, so I have a pair of wireless headphones that I'm going to be putting on your ears, okay? So you just let me know if they're uncomfortable at all, if you feel any pain, and if they're all good, then we can start on our pure tone audiometry test, okay? All right, so I'm just going to pop these over your ears. Okay, how is that? All right, so is there any pain in that or you feel okay? Okay, those are comfortable. Very good. So I have a little clicker device here and when I click this device it's going to play a specific tone. I want you to raise your hand when you hear the tone. If you hear it on one side or the other, 
I want you to raise your hand on that side. I'll tell you when we do that though, okay? We'll start first with just in front, and then I'll tell you when you can do one side or the other, okay? Give me just a moment. Gotta get my marking sheet. Okay, so, y'all ready? Okay, so, I want you to just raise your hand when you hear the sound, okay? All right. going to test on the left side only, so just raise your hand when you hear the sound, okay? Now we're going to do the tones on the right side. So just raise your hand when you hear a tone on the right side, okay? Thank you. 
So this is the part where I'll have you raise the hand on the side you hear the tone on. It may be on one or the other. Just raise the hand on the side that you hear the tone on, okay? Excellent. Now, I want you to raise your hand when you can hear the sound, okay? It doesn't matter if it's on the left or the right. You don't have to raise your hand that corresponds to that side. Just when you hear the sound, raise your hand, okay? Now I want you to raise your hand when you hear the sound stop, okay? Raise your hand when it stops. Good. Now we're going to be doing a test called the hearing in noise test, okay? So I want you to repeat the word that you hear when it's said, okay? To the best of your ability. Ready? Okay. The first one is going to be in no noise, okay? 
Just repeat the word that you hear. Orange. Aptitude. Certain. Different. Sharp. Park. Light. Mustard. Quarter. Collected. Different. Park. Orange. Mustard. Okay, and now we're going to have some background noise that will be playing in the front, as far as you know, the front of your hearing, okay? I want you to repeat the word that you hear despite the noise as best as you can, okay? All right. Ready? Okay. Different. Park. Mustard. Collected. Orange. Quarter. Certain. Aptitude. going to be having some background noise in your left ear. I want you to repeat the word that you hear despite the noise. Ready? Mustard. Orange. Different. Quarter. Park. Certain. Collected. Light. Good. Now there will be some background noise playing in your right ear. I want you to repeat the word that you hear despite the noise, okay? All right. Quarter. Light. Aptitude. Certain.
mustard. Different. going to be playing that background noise either on one side or the other. I want you to repeat the noise that you hear despite the sound on either side, okay? All right. Sharp. Certain. Park Different Orange Quarter Mustard Collected Light Aptitude Good. Now our last group of tests is called the Modified Rhyme Test. You'll be hearing a set of words that sound very similar. Either they have the same ending or the same beginning. I want you to raise your hand when you hear a specific word, okay? I'm going to play you the first set. I want you to raise your hand when you hear the word hot. Raise your hand when you hear the word hot, okay? Ready? Ot, cot, hot, tot, dot, not. Good. Now, I'm going to play that again. This time, I want you to tell me when you hear the word dot, okay? Ot, cot, hot, tot, dot, not. Good. And we're going to do that for another few different sets of words, okay? For the next set, I want you to tell me when you hear the word beam with an M at the end, okay? Bean, beam, bead, beak, beat, beach. And now I want you to tell me when you hear the word beak with a K at the end, okay? Bean, beam, bead, beak, beat, beach. Good. Now I want you to tell me when you hear the word cat with a C, okay? Cat, bat, at, fat, sat, tat. Good. Now 
Now I want you to tell me when you hear the word tat with a T, okay? Cat, bat, at, fat, sat, tat. Good. Now I want you to tell me when you hear the word seed with a D at the end. Seen, seat, see, seed, seep, seek. Good. And I want you to tell me when you hear the word seep with a P at the end, okay? Seen, seat, see, seed, seep, seek. Good. Last set, last two. I want you to tell me when you hear the word cod with a C at the beginning, okay? Mod, odd, cod, sod, tod, rod. Okay, and I want you to tell me when you hear the word rod with an R at the beginning, okay? Mod, odd, cod, sod. Todd, Rod. Good, okay. I'm gonna put that down and let's go ahead and take your, your headphones off, okay? There we go. Might take a, a few moments for your head to get Reacclimated. I know they're a little heavy. Yeah. Okay. So, have your test results. So it looks like you missed just a few things. A couple of the very high frequencies, and just a little bit of a delay on certain words, but nothing that I would consider having any hearing loss, okay? Not even mild. So it looks like your hearing is fine. It's well within normal limits, and I hope that we can keep it that way, okay? So try to limit your exposure to loud environments, loud noises, and if you're going to be somewhere loud or using loud equipment, loud machinery, want you to find some earplugs or some hearing protection, okay? Because oftentimes when we start losing our hearing, we lose a lot more than just our hearing. Oftentimes people will experience isolation and feelings of depression. We also start getting a bit of a brain decline. It's said that those that are experiencing hearing loss often are at higher risk for diseases like Alzheimer's. So I want you to try to preserve that as much as you can, okay? So when it's gone, we can do hearing aids and they help, but they're not a perfect substitute, okay? All right, so I am going to sign off on this. I do not believe we need any further testing at this time, okay? All right. Very good. Any last questions for me at all? Okay. Thank you so much for coming into my office and getting this hearing examination done by me. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Thank you. Goodbye now.